So I found these at a local Asian market in my area. Um, I saw the mee goreng part of this. And we all know that Indomie mee goreng is the bomb.com. Stupendously delicious. So I thought, let's go ahead and give these a try. So I am new to this brand, Ibumi. I, I could be saying that wrong. In fact, I am probably certain that I am. But a brand new brand for me. I've never tried this one out before. It looks like the directions are pretty much the same as a, a typical Indomie grain. Your typical ramen block. All right, so one difference that you see right off the bat is that you have four sachets or packets collectively. The uh, Indomie Goreng, um, they do have five in their packaging. Um, so interested to see how this stacks up against that. All right, so one thing that I will call out is that the soy sauce was very thick. It was almost as if it were syrup. It doesn't look like much of anything right now. Um, I mean, it doesn't really look like much of anything for Indomie Goreng at this point either. Um, but again, we'll see. Weapons. All right, so first impressions, the smell definitely snaps back up at you. I'm definitely smelling the onion um, that I saw on the front of that packaging. So it's very Indomie Goreng-esque. But, you know, different brand, different ingredients. We had one less uh, seasoning packet in this one opposed to the Indomie Goreng. Um, but, yeah, it, it definitely makes a first impression. And I'm going to stop talking. And the verdict? You know, that's a solid, I would say, six after the first bite. Let's be honest. Indomie Goreng will always, 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 always be number one. Of course, that's completely subjective to my own understanding. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely good if you were you know, short on time, hungry, just needed to eat something, then this would definitely, you know, satisfy that need. But it's just not memorable, I would say. You can definitely taste the onion um, and their ingredients in this one. But the flavor just doesn't, it doesn't punch quite as hard. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely good. It's it's just one of those soups that you just need to add something to. An egg would be perfect. A side of pot stickers, perhaps. Or even throwing in some kimchi. It's a solid bowl of ramen. And um, I think I would go for this one again. But again, just nothing memorable. However, like I mentioned earlier, it's a very good solution to the hunger pains when you come home and you're too lazy to cook anything and i seemingly just happened to fall into that category so with that being said thank you guys for watching if you've gotten this far thank you for your time in watching this video hopefully it was educational i doubt it was inspirational but hey a girl can dream or maybe now you even have something that you can you know try out on your own time Thank you guys again, and I'll see you in the next one.